Hi, my name is Frank and I want to give you a small introduction in yeah, hmm, assembly language, hmm, maybe a little in assembly language, but uh, mostly in uh, my favorite assembler. It's called uh, FASM or flat assembler. I give you the tour. comes with a uh, with an editor. It's a little older version. Uh, I think uh, the actual version is uh, 1.69 but this old version here is still works. And now I show you a little program I wrote. I think um, by uh, by showing you a program, I can uh, explain you uh, the uh, the f the functions um, relative good. Um, a flat assembler doesn't work with um, with command line options or with uh, external settings everything you want you you just um, write it in your code it's it's just if you uh, use a pocket calculator uh, you you do the calculations uh, on the calculator and uh, in this way it's uh, it's uh, also uh, with a flat assembler and it doesn't even matter if you uh, assemble a certain code under Linux or under Windows the the output uh, the binary output is uh, in uh, both cases the same. Here you can see include data. Flat assembler comes with um, yeah with a large amount of include data data and yeah example pro programs. You can use struct uh, struct data. Unions are also possible. You can also declare unions. And uh, what I did here, all these structures, uh, you don't actually uh, need to do this because uh, let's say struct window class, um, it's um, it's also in in the include in the include uh, library. But um, I like to have it in my own code because I uh, I can better see uh, the 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 class and I've added the, the the structure and uh, when I'm when I'm programming I don't have to uh, uh, look in the win32 library all the time it's uh, it doesn't have any effect uh, to the code size I think uh, one of the most important macro uh, instructions of uh, FASM is uh, invoke. With invoke you are able to uh, include external functions uh, into your program. Uh, mostly it's used for Win32 uh, functions and um, normally you would have to push your parameters um, onto the stack and uh, call the function and with this invoke macro you uh, uh, don't have to do this you, you just uh, invoke your function and then you write your parameters separated by comma and another very useful thing uh, these um, these parameters these are standard values defined by Microsoft and uh, normally you would have to uh, look and to search uh, which uh, numbers are um, are required for what function but you don't have to do this here because um, these uh, these string data 
is uh, resolved by uh, by FASM and uh, it puts uh, the right value um, in this place. It's it's a little like in C in many cases. We have a, a proc macro. You can uh, can do uh, callback functions, which you need for Windows programming. Down here is uh, the import section. It's not actually a section here but uh, you can program with the section. I didn't do it here. Um, yeah. And what is interesting about FASM, uh, if you look here, the include data for the OpenGL library is uh, very huge but uh, the do this doesn't matter. I just uh, copied all these code uh, from from another uh, source code and included it into my program uh, and most of these um, function I don't actually use but um, it it just doesn't matter because uh, FASM looks if I if the function is used in the program and if it isn't used uh, it doesn't print the string uh, at at the end. Here's the last section. Here comes the resource data. It's um, icon info and some other things. Okay, that's uh, this was a short overview. Um, I have sure if I don't know um, who of you uh, had already. Um, programmed in assembly language uh, but I think it's a it's an overview um, over the source code of a typical uh, FASM program and I think I think you can um, you can uh, do uh, your programming uh, very quick uh, after some time uh, because so you need some time to uh, to get into it, but when you uh, when you do programming, you you mostly keep uh, the the source code, and you can uh, reuse uh, your old code uh, in in new projects. Um, let's say for this program, I I didn't uh, use uh, I didn't write every uh, line of this program um, uh, uh, again. Uh, let's say this part here I included uh, from another program and I included it also in the same program um, at another place. Or this here, this isn't even from me, this this code. I, I just included it from example program and, um, and also uh, some people, uh, they go to the internet, they go to, um, to the FASM homepage and uh, and get their and get uh, their code what they need and um, include it in their own projects. It's a little sometimes it's a little like cutting a video film. I think uh, many people do have uh, not the right ideas about uh, about assembly language. Okay. This was um, a short overview and the theory and in the next video I show you a little more about the program. Uh, in the third video I will show you uh, how, how the program works and it's a little, yeah, it's a little graphic program and it works with OpenGL and I can show you uh, this program in, in this way because I'm recording my screen and uh, it slows down my computer and so I did it uh, with my digicam. The quality is not as good as I wished it would be but um, I think yeah it's quite okay. It's a little uh, long but um, 
the good parts uh, come to the end. So you can uh, scroll forward or you can just be patient and wait. Or you can skip this if you're just interested in how the program works. Okay, in the next uh, video I show you more. Thank you for listening and see you.